biggest issues we have managing alder is that alder is very susceptible to sun scald. So this tree right here faces due west from this side. And we opened up a lot of the trees on the other side of here that you can't see. And we did that because we had a road going in and we were putting fencing in and we needed the room and uh, we needed the space and clear the trees out. But in the meantime, we opened it up and more sunlight was coming in. Well, when that happened, we ended up getting sun scald. Alder, and I'll pull this up so you can see it. Alder has very, very thin bark and it does not have any pitch. So it is very susceptible to being sun scalded. One of the ways that we control that is, is that we clear the forest out over a several year period. We'll take out the smallest of the understories, then we'll take out the next size of the understories, and so forth and so on. And if you do it over a four or five year period, it gives a tree time to adapt to the increased sun. If you just open it up and the sun bakes the side of the bark, then you get the sun scald. Now what happens is, is this tree will start to decay right here and it will, it, it'll die within a few years. Um, this tree in particular, I wasn't too worried about because single stump, but branches off right here into a Y and we typically don't like that for trees. We would rather them be one stump, a single tree going all the way up with very few limbs up on it, as I showed you in the previous video. So this one we'll take down, but we'll still use it. It'll become firewood. So other than that, um, that's one of the things you have to consider when you're managing your alder forest. Be very careful that you don't end up clearing trees out too fast and they end up sun scalding because they will die. The other thing is using equipment in a forest is, especially with alder, is very tricky because if you just nick the bark a little bit and expose the wood underneath, you'll have a rot space there within a couple of years that'll be that big around. And then that'll go halfway through the tree. And once that happens, that, that tree is no longer of any use at that point. You would have to use, you would have to cut it above that mark and then use everything forward. And since alder doesn't grow very tall like a fir does, our usable amount of tree, we have to make sure that we, we use all of it. You know, the usable amount of tree is a lot less than a fir. So we typically will trim these trees out to about, on average, about 32 feet. Some of the really old ones we could get 40, but most of the time we're trimming out to about 32 feet for the log truck to pick up. So just a few seconds ago, I mentioned about equipment damaging the trees, nicking the bark on an alder tree, and then rot occurring. And this is what that looks like. Now this one is several years old. Uh, matter of fact, this one was nicked about eight years ago. Uh, we've not taken it out, um, mainly because we really haven't needed to. So it will have to come out this year or it'll end up falling. Uh, but if you look all the way up, you can see how that tree just got worse and worse. So one little nick that was only the size of a, roughly about the size of a, of a silver dollar, ended up decaying over several year period into this. Essentially what happened is, is the rot started at, at the bottom and then it just continued until it got all the way to the top. It was my fault, I accidentally nicked it with a tractor uh, with the bucket only because I um, wasn't really watching what I was doing and, uh, and was, tried to make sure I didn't do it again on any of the others. But as you can see, uh, the birds are like it. They go in and they peck it out. Uh, different worms and stuff like that get into it and the woodpeckers come in and peck it out and, and eat all the bugs that get in there. So. Uh, so the birds have been getting a lot of use out of it, uh, but as you can see, not not m of much use as a saw log. Firewood, good firewood and a bird feeder, um, just not a real conventional bird feeder.